Hi everyone, it's Sarah with Vermont Craft Tours and um, today I want to share with you my recipe for Vermont maple cornbread. It's absolutely delicious and it can be used as a side. I make a lot of it in the winter time. Um, as you can see behind me, our garden has come to a close. It's sort of mid-fall here, end of October, and uh, Rick's shutting down the garden. So it's a great time to uh, make some yummy soup and make this cornbread to go with it. Um, the details of the recipe are going to be on the blog, vermontcrafttours.com, and I'll link that up in the show notes. Um, so you don't have to take detailed notes. I usually don't give exact measurements when I'm doing these um, kind of recipe walkthroughs, so you can get the full details on the website. Um, so this recipe is pretty quick, quick and easy. It's a quick bread. Um, so you'll be using the muffin method if you are an Alton Brown fan or you know what that is. If you don't, that's okay. I'll explain it. Um, but the, you know, there's no yeast, there's no rising, there's none of that. You just make, mix up the ingredients, pour it into a pan, and cook it. Um, so the ingredients you'll need are organic all-purpose flour, some cornmeal, some baking powder, and some salt. Those are the dry ingredients. And you'll mix those into one bowl. And then uh, the wet ingredients are your cooking oil. You can use canola oil or olive oil or any stable cooking oil that you like. Um, I've, I've used different oils uh, depending on what I have in my pantry. One egg or an egg substitute if you're vegan. Um, some milk. Again, that can be any kind of milk, dairy milk, almond milk, whatever you would normally bake with. And of course, real Vermont maple syrup. Um, and of course, being in Vermont, I can get this very easily at my local co-op in bulk, or um, this tub I got at a local farmer's market. I bought it right from the guy who made it from his own sugar stand. Um, but you should be able to find it in most parts of the US, um, and Canada, of course, has a big sugaring um, operation there. If you can't get pure maple syrup, um, you can substitute honey or molasses, but please don't use fake maple syrup or corn syrup. Um, it's gross. It's unhealthy. Um, yeah, just don't do it. Skip the, skip the recipe if you can't find um, a good natural um, sugar source. Okay, so I mentioned you're going to mix your dry ingredients in a small bowl. For your wet ingredients, it really matters the order that you put them in. So you want to start by scrambling your egg. Then you're going to add your oil and you're going to whisk those together to emulsify them. It's kind of like making mayonnaise. You want to um, get the proteins in the egg to grab onto the fats in the oil. And then you're going to add your sugar. Um, so you're going to pour in your maple syrup. Mix that all together. And then you're going to put your milk in last. And what that will do is make sure that your wet mixture is nicely um, homogenized and it's not going to like separate um, the oil from the wet, the water kind of ingredients there. Um, so you get a nice mixture, and then you'll put your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients and whisk those just until they come together. Um, the thing about quick breads and the muffin method is you don't want to overwork the batter. You'll create kind of tough, chewy um, consistency. So you just want to mix them until the, all the dry ingredients are kind of moistened, and if there's a few small lumps, that's okay. All right, so um, before you actually do that last step of combining the two parts of the batter, you want to preheat your oven and preheat your a cast iron pan in the oven. Um, you, I like to put a little oil in, a couple teaspoons, and when you go to put your batter in, when your pan's all hot, what that'll do is create a nice crisp crust on the outside of your cornbread and it'll also create like a natural non-stick surface so your bread won't stick in the pan um, if you put the cold batter into a really hot pan. Um, of course be careful wear oven mitts and use something that's heat safe to set your pan on before you pour the batter in. I'll show you how to do that um, but it makes a wonderful bread. It usually takes about 30 to 35 minutes to bake in the oven and then you can take it out let it rest for a moment and then turn it out onto a plate and be ready to go with your delicious cornbread. Um, this grows great with butternut squash soup, which I did do an episode on before, so you can find that in our YouTube feed. Um, it also goes well with chili, um, any other kind of spicy soup, um, and I like it with sweet soups too, things like potato leek um, or even bean soups. So if you like soup in the wintertime like I do, definitely make some cornbread to go with it. Try it out. Let us know what you think of the recipe in the comments. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.